guys something that I'm doing I wanted to show you first off what I did was after I painted the phthalo green I used the uh, Liquitex spray paint it's water soluble this is my phthalo green blue shade I also sprayed um, my phthalo blue green shade and then I topped it off with a little bit of this other ultra cover paint and primer Rust-Oleum's uh, Oasis blue now before I did all that, put this away, I did put two coats of gesso on the bottom of this painting. And this has been sitting for over a week because, you know, life takes over. <laughs> so, um, I do have somebody waiting on this, so I do need to get my rear in gear. <laughs> I wanted to show you how I did the sides. I want to help you guys out there that like to pour paint and do painting and stuff. You guys are artists. And uh, I want to show you how another artist works. And it's a lot of fun. I always do, when I make a little masterpiece thing, I always do my sides differently. I just don't let the paint pour over the sides. 90% uh, of the time I do something different. And uh, this painting here, I left one side empty because I want to show you how I did it. This is what the sides look like. And I'm going to show you how I did that. And that's actually on with resin. It is now. This three sides are resin done. And then I'll do this side and show you guys how I did it. So you guys too can create something like this if you want to do something different on your sides. So first off, I have this glitter glue by Elmer's. And I use a foam brush. And I put some glitter glue in here because I wanted to save it for the next day because I was doing, um, I just did the three sides and I saved this last side so I could show you guys how I did it. And then in here, I show I have, and I use my big tongue depressor to line up the glitter so I can get the side. And I'll show you that in a minute. But first, before you can do that, after I painted and primed the sides, I take my glitter glue and I dip it in the sponge here, dip the sponge in here rather, and get some glitter glue on here like that. And I put it all along the edge of the canvas like this. Because I want that glue on there. And I use the glitter because where the um, sparkle stuff, uh, whatever I decide to put on the sides, wherever it doesn't stick, the glitter will show through. Plus I put glitter in the resin when I'm done as well. And I'll show you that step. Okay, now that I've got the glue on the edge, I'll show you what's next. It's a lot of fun, you guys, and a zen moment. Okay, now... I'm going to open up my paper that I had, putting my glitter, my sparkles down here, my little glittery goodies. And I take the glued side and I dip it down in like this. I start on one end and I just keep going like this. This will give your painting a very unique and fancy little edge. Especially for like if you're going to be painting little mermaids or something like this or something for a little girl's room or something. And some people of the elite nature like something a little different, something really special and something made just for them. Okay, now. I take a look at that and I take my hand and I tap the bottom like this. ends here. I'll show you. Turn around and look at it. Perfect. Turned out just like I want it. There you go. See? I hope you're getting that in the camera because the camera is up really high because this is a bigger piece. Now, I'm going to let that dry. 
I let this dry now for 24 hours and then I add my resin to it and I'll show you that in the next steps. Okay, now I'm going to get the resin on the side. This is the fourth and final side and I'm going to show you how I do that. I won't be able to get the whole thing in the camera because of the angle of my camera and the setup that I have. But I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I take a sponge and I've mixed up a little bit of resin here and I put some silver extra fine glitter in there. And I dab it all over. I dab it all over here where all this glitter stuff was. All the 3D stuff. And then I'll show you when it's done. <laughs> take it down and I'll show you the edges closer here we go see edges are so pretty and they're on there for good and the reason I like to do my edges first and not always but most of the time when I do this kind of painting is because whatever painting I decide sometimes I want the paint to drip over the sides and I have that edge with really cool black dripping or whatever I choose. It's so pretty. And it is on there. All right, guys. I came outside after the rain <laughs> so I can get a better light on these uh, canvases for you to show you the sides. I just have one other example because uh, you guys get the idea. Okay, and here are the sides. Now, this top one there is uh, just 3D stickers that I got from the art store or craft market, whatever. So this is real shiny. It's 3D. And it has a resin on it. This one doesn't have the resin on it yet. But it's really pretty and shiny. i to level that a little bit. See that, guys? Look how pretty that is. And then this one. So pretty. And I can see I need to mow my grass. <laughs> Alright, everybody. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you learned a little something. And go have fun and take your artwork to another level. A Arrivederci, everybody. And remember, wear your own ruby slippers. Do it your way, everyone.